going to talk about uh, about the Catholic Church. Okay. Yes, and I would. Yeah, I was just asking now, you because uh, I'm learning more. I don't me, know enough. Let me tell you a little bit about the sun pillars. Okay. Now, yeah. Now, um, when you dive into the sun pillars in paganism, uh, they have you can come up on uh, an an article. It's uh, from uh, RomanCatholicism.com. And it's called Paganism in Catholic uh, Church. Now, uh, you can find that on Paganism in Catholic Church, uh, slash Paganism in Catholic Church with uh, Roman Catholicism.com. And, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was sharing a thing. Go ahead now. Um, Roman Paganism. Roman, do it again, please. Um, oh, I see it right here. Paganism, Catholic Church. Hold on. I'll just look them up. Paganism and Catholic Church. Hold on, this is something different. This is I'm gonna find that on the website you just told me about. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the first, or I'll post the link into the chat. Yeah, can you do that? I just dropped all my stuff. Paganism. So I'll just I'll just do the chat real quick and post the link <laughs> it, over on the side. <sighs> just hit that link right there. Okay. Oh no, cause, okay, I'll do it enough. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I don't have Jitsi on my iPad. I don't wanna do it on the iPad. I do my work on my iPad. I'm... Are you able to pull it up? <laughs> yeah, if I pull it up, it'll put it on my feed cause they're linked, it'll put it in my internet history. So just, yeah, I'm good. No, I can, no. Um... In this, it says it's hard to ignore the paganism all over the Catholic Church. From buildings, from the building, or from the buildings, worship practicing, teaching, etc. It's everywhere and impossible to overlook. Before reviewing this pledge, we recommend checking out the links below, which is Pagan Roots of Catholicism Part 1 and Pagan Roots of Catholicism Part 2. Let's start with the obelisk, okay? The first thing you have to ask is, what is an obelisk? Let's look at some history behind the obelisk and then see what scriptures have to say. The pagan obelisks, Nimrod's penis or church steeple, pillar. Mm. The pillars of Canaanites erected to worship their gods were actually phallic symbols commemorating the incursion of the demon god sun gods sons of elohim when they had sex with the daughters of men to create their nephilim or demigod children in the pre and post flood world which you can see that in Gen genesis 6 2 through 6. what is the point here Yahweh commanded Israel to destroy these pagan symbols and to have nothing to do with them. They were abominations that would defile Yahweh set apart people. Um, the well-known pointless obelisks or sun pillars of Egypt are found in the scriptures in the Hebrew word mitzvaba, mitzviba, and homonym. The former word is best translated as pillars or as sun pillars, and the later as sun images. Now, in uh, Jeremiah 43:13, this mitzvah sun pillars are identified as those obelisks found in Beth Shemesh in Greek Heliopolis in the land of Egypt. Unfortunately, the King Ver James Version rendered this word metzphaba in most place places as images instead of obelisks or pillars as the other English versions correctly do. In Exodus 23, 24, Israel was commanded to break down these pillars of the heathen nations. He repeated this in Exodus 34, 13 and Deuteronomy 7, 5 and Deuteronomy 12, 3. 
and in many other places in scripture these pillars or sun pillars are epith uh, no emphatically described as an abomination by our mighty one Israel was not only commanded to break down these pagan pillars of sun pillar or sun pillars they were strictly commanded not to erect them Deuteronomy 16:22 and Leviticus 26:1 in in Deuteronomy okay now 16:22 our mighty one says that he hates them however the catholic church has one in the center center of the vatican this can't be more offensive to god statue I'm reading. now that is the the what, what they're talking about uh these obelisks are what they i'm not going to get much farther into that because i don't want to get into uh, no, 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 I understand. I was just... Well, I mean, for me personally, I don't want to get too much into religious uh, debate. You know what I mean? So... Right. Uh, the, the whole point of that was um, because they were talking in this writing about uh, about the hominem. Okay, a hominem is a sun pillar. And... Um, they're saying that God said to get rid of those, but they kept it anyway. And yeah, right? Yeah. That's what you just read us, right? I was yeah. just making sure I understood it before you moved too far ahead. I thought you were going to explain further. So I was just making sure, like, what I hear is basically, yeah, what I heard. So, okay. You can go ahead, whatever you were going to say. I was just making sure I was caught up. Now, they say that uh, on these uh, pillars, okay? these uh, sun pillars that is where uh, sanitarium would go and he would take notes on uh, sanitarium he would take notes down on what was written on these uh, ancient pillars you know when it came to uh, when it came to the sun pillars you know the lore and everything that was written on them basically Sanitunatheon or yeah, something? Sanitunatheon. Right. Same person, right. Okay, Thank I was you. just making sure I have it. Thank you for straightening me out on that because I uh, have a hard time saying those that name. If ever you get tired of reading because you read a lot, I don't mind helping you. I mean, like, but I'm not saying, like, put it on me. I'm just saying if you'd like, you know what I mean, to take over for a little bit or any time, just tell me. I mean, you know what I mean? It's your show. I'm just here because you teach me a lot and I don't mind helping because, like, I come all the time. So, you know. It's, it's good. If it gets overwhelming, I'll, I'll definitely have you do it. Even if, like, before the shows, you want me to read up on some stuff and stuff like that, if you tell me that, I'll do it. You know what I mean? You just will have to tell me. I do what I can as far as my interest. Sometimes my interest is a little different than the content matter in any way. So, you know what I mean? Like, yesterday, you sent me through, um, that you you talked about the snake guy, and we were talking about your book, mind you, and, like, I went from there to, like, a guy that has the same last name as me. Like, it was just a big, 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 like, you, like, so it's like, I hear what you say, but I hear other stuff as well, if that makes any sense. So I'm saying, if you tell me, hey, can you, or will you, or I'd like you to, then I don't have a problem listening to you. You know what I'm saying? It's no big deal. It's just a matter of sometimes my research is a little different. Yeah, I know. And, like, uh, that that's perfectly fine, you know what I mean? Because, like, what what I do want to do is like what you found uh, the other day or today that you mentioned. <clears throat> I do want to go over that. You know what I mean? Because that's that's pretty good, especially when it comes to freaking uh, Phoenician history and stuff. And when you was talking about like Apollo, or when you was talking about things that can prove it. You know, um, Apollo is a perfect example. You know what I mean? Apollo was actually the first. He was he he was uh, one of the freaking uh, gods in the freaking Phoenician uh, pantheon. Uh, now that you're reading uh, the Iliads, you're going to hear the story of uh, the city of Troy. You know what I mean? And all the Phoenician gods. They'll explain to you which ones were the Phoenician gods and which ones were the Greek gods. 
okay so it'll make it make more sense well then i have to indulge like i i found more free time to that i guess i was not utilizing to read and i'm like oh i can use this time to read and then so like yeah i should be reading a little bit more than i have been so hopefully that works out for us because i'm going to just pick your brain anything that i have questions about i'm going to ask mm. you so you it's know. fine now uh most of the lore and everything and the mystical inscriptions he uh derived from the hominin which is what they referred to it as and they're called the sun pillars and those are those obelisks they have them in uh egypt too um the phoenicians had obelisks as well they were everywhere and they used to have all the lore written down on, on the bottom part and with inscriptions not only lore but like stories well i guess it would be lore too like make the emperors and the uh <laughs>